So I think I fixed the problem. Here we go. No more freezing. So if you play this thing in, in windowed mode, it really takes a toll. I don't know why it was freezing the way it was, but I did some research and the blogs told me, stop that shit. So we're leaving now that we got the, uh, the videos working. I was also, um, wait, how do I leave? There we go, tap. Okay, so I was also given advice that I should, I'm sorry, not given advice. I did some testing, it all works, but in the process I had to recruit more guys. So we went from 11, I think is where we were at, to 24. All right, so right now we are in the kingdom of the Nords. So let's go take a look around for a second at the map. So this is the Vigars over here. These are the Nords over here. Now I did say the Nords are the easiest guys to, you know, suppress, but I think I was incorrect in saying that. The easiest um, kingdom to suppress are these guys, and I don't remember their names specifically, but. Oh, no, I didn't want to go over there. Holy crap. I'm going to run all the way over there. Nope, stop that shit. Um, we're those guys. And let's go to the training fields real quick. I don't remember these guys. I don't remember the training field per se. Um, here, hold on. Pause X for a second. I think I am recording. Okay, uh, never mind. So, sorry about that. Let's go to the training fields, and let's see if we can gain something out of it. Now, around these mountains, you'll find that there's a lot of looters and deserters that run around. That's because... Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what the training field's for. And I'm about to waste my time. Speak with the trainer. No, I don't want to do this. Leave. Let's go satisfy the mission that we took. And then... Go ahead and... Start making our claim as a lord. So, here we go. Let's uh, ride on, shall we? I love this little news ticker on the left hand side. It, it really does give you um, an inside scoop on what's going on in the region. And that's very important. Right now, the kingdom of the Nords is being torn apart. Uh, either torn apart, or somebody's trying to tear it apart, and they're getting torn apart. Either way. Um, it's a good day for, it's a good day for taking people out. Oop, looters. I think I'm going to take them out. Where did they go? There they are. Let's see if I can get to them before Count Meltor does. And there's deserters. All right, so you can see the speed of people by looking at their, their person. So Count Melton's party, holy crap, <laughs> what am I doing? So, Count Melton's party, he's from the Kingdom of Swadia, he probably owns some, uh, a castle very close to this area. He is moving at a speed of 3.2. Obviously, we're not going to catch these deserters, um, but as you can see, being Vigar horsemen, their speed is exponentially higher, uh, than Count Meltor. With that being said, the looters are running at the same speed that Count Meltor is marching towards them. Let's take a gander at how fast we're moving. Maybe we can get there before... Oh, we can get there before they do. 4.6. Oh, boy. There it is. Let's join this battle. Move in to help, boy. Okay, so joining battles and helping other counts gains renown, but it also gains trust with that count, Baron, whoever they are. I don't know who Boyer of Valachin is. Once again, it's been a long time since I've played the game. And I am also showing a bad habit of, of putting my fingers on QWE. For any of the LOL players out there, they know why I'm doing that. Either way, let's go ahead and, and have at it. Boyer Valachin. And I also didn't start my timer. Ooh, that's not good. Timer strats. Go. Boyer Valachin. Let's charge the enemy. And look at that. We don't have any more um, video rendering problems. It had nothing to do with my laptop at all. All right, so let's change our weapons because I figured out how to do that too. Now let's find out where these these dolts are. 
I'm just gonna charge in like a, a madman and uh, try to get as many kills as possible because it really does help your um, ooh, your renown. Hey, am I going the wrong direction? There's a battle over there. Oop, I'm going the right direction. Where are these guys? They should be charging and yelling. War cries. <laughs> they should be like, I should hear them. Let's get up on this perch and see what we're looking at. What we got ourselves. Oh, I heard, I heard swords. Damn it! I'm in the wrong area. Well then, next time, stay with the battle people, persons, count, warrior, relishin. So the battle's over. I totally ran into the wrong direction, and that was very fast. All right, so let's tab it out. Uh, the two looters were waxed. There we go. This is actually really good. We also got the Good Samaritan um, uh, Award Achievement. So, Warrior Relation. Thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't met properly yet, have we? What is your name? My name is Scruff McGrufferton. Well met, Scruff McGrufferton. I am Boyar Valachin. Thanks for your help. And I hope we meet again. Get wrecked. Alright, so because I goofed and I didn't get prisoner management, which actually makes you a ton of money, um, I can't take this looter with me. But what I will do is I will upgrade my footman. The key here, footmen can upgrade to skirmishers or veterans. You want veterans, because veterans can upgrade to horsemen, and horsemen can upgrade to better horsemen, and then to knights. I think that I think that's the progression. Either way, it's a lot better than not doing it. And true form, this battle ends and we're still chasing these looters. So we're gonna help out Count Meltor and hopefully we'll outrun these looters. Yes, we will outrun the looters because we are much faster than them. We are much faster than they. So at night you don't run nearly as fast. It's an unfortunate uh, truism, but it, it is True. Cal Meltor is catching up ever so slowly. That is a little disappointing. I want to get there before he does. And you know what? I think I will. Count Meltor, get wrecked. Get wrecked! You're losing. You're losing! Yep, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it! Ah, yes! Guess what, looter? Prepare to die. Alright, so we have 24 troops fit for battle. Against their 13, our troops are well armored and well weaponed. Their troops are not. Charge the enemy. And let's have at it. Alright, let's change to the, the, the uh, axe. All you have to do is scroll up to change your weapons or scroll down. Because this axe is a two... Uh, well, let's see if I'm going the right direction first. Because this axe is a two-handed weapon, um, you uh, you can't use your shield with it. But the caveat to that is, I have an easier time using it on both sides of my horse. On the go. On the go. Just getting it in. I am taking a lot of damage. Time to back up. Back it up. Get in there, Vigar Knight, or Vigar Peoples. Killed one guy. I'm just taking, I'm taking him the task. And I'm, I am taking, oh my goodness, I'm taking a lot of damage. There we go. There we go. All right. It's all coming up Millhouse. Hey, get here. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, mister. Okay, so the one cool thing about this is that you, um, your, your guy, I'm sorry, you cannot move through your units the way you think you can. If a unit is in front of you, a unit is in front of you, and that's just that. Alright, so these guys are running somewhere for a reason. That must mean, oh, okay, cool. Let's chase. Let's give chase. It'll be a lot nicer when I have a uh, horseman. We'll be a lot faster, and it'll be a lot easier to kill all these guys. But, uh... Oop, there we go. I do have a horse guy. Well, that's good to know. Press tab, and let's watch our guys cheer. Yeah! 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 So if you look to the bottom right, you can see my horse took a lot of damage. Eventually, I'll be able to get war horses, which will be able to um, blunt the amount of damage the horse takes. But... Tab out. Another victorious battle. I'm not sure we've lost. No, I'm sure. We haven't. 
two looters, can't take them because my prisoner skills are lacking, but I can upgrade my footmen. I will also upgrade my um, one of my footmen to veterans. Now, the other thing you'll find is that the weekly wage of each of these goes up exponentially. 15 dinars from 4 dinars. Granted, those 15 dinars, well worth it. Now, this is why I wanted to get to those looters before that other count did. Yes, getting count morale and um, getting, um, what was I going to say? Getting relations up, that's all well and good. But it's better to make money because right now I'm low on the, on the dosh. So let's go ahead and take these very interesting weapons and armor that I will sell at a premium when I get to a place to sell them. And I think I'm going to go sell them in Swadia because I sold a lot of goods in... Um, yeah, these are garbage. I sold a lot of goods in... Um, Ravadin. Um, so I think that their demand is not as high as as it should be so I'm gonna go to Swadia and hopefully I can sell these at a, at a premium this heavy sumter horse is trash but we'll see how we can get on with that with it all right so and then eventually hopefully we can finally get um, let's, let's march then after that we can finally get a better horse however if we run into looters on the way we will be taking them down that is for sure. Now, I could have went to Kura. Let's stop for a second. I could have went to... Where is it? Yeah, Kura. But it's not as big a uh, trading port as Dirim. So we're going we're gonna to go to Dirim instead. With that being said, I also want to make my way up that direction. So I want to get at least 75. Holy shit. $81 for wages. Alright, well, guess what? I am broke. Morale is high, but I am broke. I can't upgrade anybody. Alright, well, what I can do is I can upgrade myself. And while I'm marching to Dirham, I am going to look at my character. Ah, that's exactly what I needed. So let's go ahead and get prisoner management on the go. Because, well, we need to make more money. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our two-handed weaponry. And we're going to upgrade our charisma. Now, I'm upgrading my charisma because it makes my party limit that much higher. Um, my party size limit. And it also gives me the ability to uh, have better prisoner management. And that's actually really important to me. I need the money. Prisoners... Um, make you a load of money. I mean, a load. They are not running away from me. That is not good. But, we'll see anyway. We are the Free Brothers. We only fight for ourselves from now on. Now give us your gold and, or taste our steel. Well, I'm done with you. That's, that's what I'm going to say. And, we are going to charge them. There's only 10 of them. There's 24 of us. Now, in this situation, because I don't have a whole lot of mounted soldiers... We are just going to uh, stay back for a sec. I want to make sure that we... Uh, this might have been a bad idea, but we outnumber them 2 to 1. Or 2.5 to 1. Something like that. 2.4 to 1. I don't, I don't know all the metrics specific, specifically. But uh, it is what it is. We can do this. Ooh, ooh, changing. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Ouch, my guys are taking a beating down there. So it's time for me to uh, wield the axe. We have not killed anyone yet. This is bad news. Oh, a fire guard footman was killed. Another one was knocked unconscious. We are not doing good right now. Yes, a horse falls. Come on! Stop dying! Oh, the recruits are dying. Well, you know what? Suck on it, recruits. We are getting waxed. We should leave. The 
The great part is none of my Vigar horsemen died, which is good news. But this is not good. Let's get out of here. We can't retreat. There's enemies nearby. All right, so this is the first battle that I took uh, unbeknownst to my better judgment. And right now, oh, that's not good. Yeah, deuces. Um, oh, I lost a lot of guys. Oh, this is a good... Oh, this was a bad battle. Now you can see you you can see the military prowess of all these Vigar horsemen as they as they descend upon me. Oh, this is bad. This is really really bad. I think all my guys were slaughtered, and I cannot retreat. This was not a good idea. All right, so either I stand and fight, or I I get yes. Okay, there we go. Scruff McRufferton gets knocked unconscious. By the way, 18 guys wound, uh, killed. And now I'm a prisoner. That's, that's great. This is embarrassing. But it's funny. The Rodox. That's the name of the place. I'm going to have to start this mission all over again. Alright. We escaped. We escaped. Friggin' finally. Let's get away from those guys. All right, so do I have any money? I do not. All right, so I need to go find a way to make money. Oh, boy. That was a bad idea. Very, very bad idea. So now what do I do? Let's go back to that tavern. Let's see if that guy will give us a loan. Join the feast. But I'm not invited. There's a feast in progress in the Lord's Hall, but you are not sufficient status to be invited inside. Perhaps increasing your renown would win you admittance. Or, you might also try distinguishing yourself at a tournament while the feast is in progress. I would do that, but I found that to be very difficult. So, we are just going to ignore that, and we're going to talk to the merchant. Yeah... Greetings to you, most noble sir. He's a singer. Um, I don't really care. Let me see. Uh, can you teach me any poems? 300 dinars. Yeah, not going to happen. Goodbye. Wow. Look at me. I look like Jon Snow. Damn it! Oh! Oh, that sucks so bad. I I need money to get people to fight looters to get prisoners so I can sell the prisoners to a ransom broker. Oh. All right, well, the freemen, they, they waxed me some beers. I'm not even going to read this because I know it's bullshit and I don't have the money, so... Let's talk to the tavern keeper. Have you heard of anyone who might have a job for a man like myself? Alright, so King Yarlik needs mercenaries. Boyar Vulzrot has been worried about bandits. There's a hideout. Boyar uh, Meriga in Rivacheg has been worrying about bandits. Um, Boyar Valachin has been asking around for someone who might want work. Huh. The guild master is putting together a bounty. Uh, there may all be other work, of course. Lords and guild master. Okay, yeah, I know there's probably other work. But that Lord Villachine one, that Boyar Villachine, that one sounded good. There it is. Dramug. All right, let's go talk to him. Uh, Dragon Castle. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. All right, so... We're not going to talk to you, Mr. Bard. You need to go sing lullabies to somebody else. Ah, don't hit him. F stands for fuck you. I mean, uh, what? Alright, so we don't need mercenaries because I don't have Dosh. Sorry, guys. Ferentis. Ah, good news, guys. Good news. All might not be lost. Though, 
Ferentes is saying he is lost. I am lost. Lost. Why so gloomy, friend? I have committed the greatest of sins, sir, and it is to my shame that I must appoint you my confessor, if you should like to hear it. I was the captain of horse in the service of the Lord here in Revadim, and my brother served with me, but we were both in love with the same woman. Ha <laughs> ha, a courtesan. A courtesan? Is he French? No, we're not going to use the French accent. A temptress who played upon our jealousies. My brother and I quarreled. I had drunk too much. He slapped me with his glove, and I spit upon him with my sword. Uh, my own brother. My sword arm was stained with the blood of my kid. Do you believe there is hope for a man like me? Can I find the path of righteousness, or am I doomed to follow the demons that dwell inside me? You could join us. Right wrongs, fight oppressors, redeem yourself, that kind of thing. Away with you, accursed fratricide! Now, as much as I am I am enjoying this second one, well, <laughs> we have no men following us. So, we're going to ask him to come with us. He's well practiced in the art of war. But I beg you, sir. I wish to use my skills to defend the innocent. The pure, the defenseless, not to be a common brigand and wreak more misery than I have already wrought. Happy to be of service. Get your things together and let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Ferentis has joined our party. Now, I'll tell you this. I really don't have to go and whore myself out to anybody. What I could do is take me and Ferentis. Oh, I don't have a damn thing, do I? I do. I thought I lost all this stuff. Oh, that's good. That is really good news. So, let's go ahead and sell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Head back. Leave. Party. Ferentis. Let me see something. Let me see your equipment, Biatch. Oh. That. Uh, he's got better armor than I do. No, he doesn't. It's just more expensive. Alright, well, you're good. You are good. You can take this, then. Because I don't want it. Because I have a two-handed great axe that I'm going to use to wax people in the head. Hmm. 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 We're going to keep this axe. And, uh... We are going to look at his skills. Oh, wow, he is way better at fighting than I am. Ferentis, you are being thrown into battle. Done. All right, so let's go back. Let's go to the marketplace. Armor. Sell off our armor. I have no clue how I was able to get all my armor back. Return. Arms. Yeah, go ahead. You guys, you're done. You are done. Now, I'm keeping the furs as an insurance policy so that when it is time to... Um, when I really get poor, like right now I'm not that poor, but when I really get poor, then we can uh, fix that. Now, I'm tempted to raid these farmers, uh, but I'm not going to do that. That is bad news, berries. We also are going to go back this direction. Because I have a strong inclination that there is a bandit's cove somewhere around here that is spawning looters at the cyclic rate. Now, I don't want to run... Day's training is complete. Huh. Interesting. What does that mean? Not a damn thing. Alright, cool. Now, I am I am certain that I can fight these looters with just me and Ferentis. I mean, I am more than certain. I am 100% I am positive. But with that being said, I'm not totally sure that that is a prudent solution. So, we are going to go to Aike, and we're going to try to recruit some guys. Again. Yep. Go to the village center. And let's see if I can talk to the village um, guy, person. Where's his name? The chieftain of this village. We, we will bathe in the blood of your cattle. Where in the hell? Back up, back up. I should probably dismount. Okay, that did not do what I thought it would do. Forwards. 
As a matter of fact, let's slow down for a second. Talk. Talk to me, woman. Come back here! Do you hear me? You don't. Alright, well. Um. Oh, there is the village guy. Or the chieftain. The village guy. Jeez. Alright, so how do I dismount? No, it is not what I wanted to do. Alright guys, give me two seconds. Dismount. Oh! I guess it doesn't matter. Cease and desist. Drop your weapon. No, why would I ever want to do that? Quests, nearby soldiers. Yeah, real easy. Dismount. Ah, uh, I saw it, but I didn't see it. Let's go ahead and talk to this chieftain. On the horse. Of the village elder. That works. Oh, yeah. There it is. That is not dismount. Maybe that is. Ah! All right, so this F has a multiple, this F key has multiple um, uses. Talk. Good day, sir, and welcome to Aike. I am the elder for this village. Do you have any tasks I can help you with? We are suffering greatly. I can teach you how to defend yourselves. Yes, I will. We would be deeply indebted to you, sir. I will instruct the village folk to assemble here and receive your training if you can teach us how to defend ourselves. I promise you'll receive everything we can give you in return for our efforts. So this is one really easy way without trying to find looters to make a lot of money. So let's go ahead and wait. Talk. Okay. At this point, I think we're going to end the episode and start off right here where we left off. Either way, as I always say, happy gaming. Ciao.